Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue, I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic that we're going to discuss is why is my partner always playing the victim? This generally happens with people when they're just not happy with what's going on in their life. So they point the blame at other people or they make excuses as to what is not going on for them. What is not transpiring in their life that they really want to happen. The big problem with getting stuck in this place is that they're continually putting a negative spin on everything. So nothing good is ever going to happen because they don't see the light of day. They don't understand that their negative attitude is bringing more of this towards them. We're all in charge of our own life and we're in charge of what we bring towards us. And if we're constantly stuck in this cycle of playing the victim, we're just going to attract more of the same. And I mean, how many times have you, say you've had a friendship where somebody's always talking about something that isn't happening to them. And after a while, it kind of becomes a bit of a broken record. You might offer suggestions to them, but they don't really want to fix the problem. And it happens because they just don't really believe they deserve good things. It can be they've just been fighting for so long in their life, they just give up. And so then they just don't see any, any optimism ahead of them for their future. Another problem is your partner wants to be heard, but they really don't want to fix the situation. First of all, they don't really know how to. So when you say things to them, they just find another way to say, no, I've tried that. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. But after a while, that takes a toll on you too. Now, if this is something that's new, that's come into your relationship at a later date, you've already been together for a while, I really think it's important to try and find out what transpired, what changed them into thinking that they're not good enough or something's not going to happen for them. Maybe something happened in their job or maybe with a, a family member or a good friend or something that triggered them. Try and find out what it is and maybe you can kind of help them see that that's how they got there. Sometimes we lose our confidence along the way because of things we're going through like medical chain, medical situations, or as I said earlier, career, hormonal changes. And it's really important to listen to what your partner has to say here and offer suggestions to them. It, there's nothing worse than feeling alone when you're going through this type of situation. And sometimes all it takes is a caring person to sit down and say, okay, this is what I've noticed. And I think we can sort of help this along if we do this. There's all sorts of scenarios that you can find that can help them. If they're really stuck and they're in a place that they're just not feeling good about themselves at all anymore, they really do need to talk to someone professional about it because this isn't good for them long term and it's certainly not helping your relationship to get to a better place. We all have different shit to deal with at different times in our life. None of us go through without any issues or feeling insecure about something or losing our confidence. But that's why we're in a partnership is to be able to trust our, our person with some of these things. Don't shut them out and complain about it and not be willing to sort of try and fix it because that is not something that is a good good, pla good place to put yourself in any, any relationship at all. Because if you're shutting them out and you're not willing to get help for yourself, you're going to start sabotaging everything. So be very careful that you don't enable their behavior so that you can be their sounding board and their safe place to fall all the time. It makes you feel important because that becomes a one-sided relationship. And I did a video on that last week, you can check out, but you wanna make really sure that you're in a, in a partnership where you grow together, you learn together, you, you trust each other. It's very important that when you are feeling some of these things that you share them but be willing to understand and listen that there is help. There are scenarios that you can implement into what's going on in your life to better what's going on in your life. But you have to be open to it. Don't shut down because if you shut down on your partner and keep playing the victim role, eventually, if you're not willing to look at the other side of it, 
they will walk away because you can't live in a negative environment for years and years. You have to be getting something back in your partnership. And you, if you're playing the victim, have to be able to give something to your partner and figure out what it is that's got you stuck. What is going on? Sit them down, be gentle, and just ask, what can I do? Don't enable them, but what can you do to help them feel better? Because sometimes when they have to think about the answer to that question, it changes their whole thought process because they're saying, okay, I'm not getting things working the way I want to, so what can I do to make them work? What help do I need? And get them to be really honest with what is missing. What do they feel they need to support them to get into a better place? You can also help your partner by helping them achieve some small goals. Maybe they can just start with a few things that gives them a purpose, gives them a little spring in their step. Just little things like that. They can just start slowly and get themselves out. Like, oh, look, I can do this. Look what I just did. Just to give them that confidence back again. Sometimes people just don't even know they're playing the victim. And until someone tells them, why are you always down on yourself? Why are you always down on other people? Why do you make excuses for everything in your life? They're in shock that they didn't know they were doing this because sometimes they've been doing it for so long, it just becomes the norm to them. But it shouldn't be the norm in your relationship. So get to the bottom of what's going on. If they're not willing to help themselves, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to help them either. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you all. And thank you for your show suggestions lately. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you could do so. Thanks so much, everyone. See you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.